Hello everyone. I saw in the forums a request to show how to change your style in the middle of your song and then uh, change it back. So that's what I'm going to show in this video. To start off, you'll need to choose what style you want to use to begin your song. Uh, so here I have loaded the underscore w C W A L Z P S style. And then you want to choose uh, which bar you want to change your style. So uh, for a quick change, how about I'll go to bar five. So I right click this bar and select bar settings in the menu. And so this opens the bar settings dialog where you can change a bunch of different settings for this particular bar. So I would click the dot SPY button to open the style picker. And I click the clear button to remove all my filters. And I know my style was in 3-4 to start with. So let's filter for 3-4 styles. And it also was a style that uses all real tracks. So how about we keep it with that using only real tracks and no MIDI. Um, and also, I want to keep the tempo relatively the same. Uh, I previously increased the tempo a little bit to 110, so let's also filter for that and see what we get. Okay, so I know the style that I used before was a country style. Uh, for the purpose of this video, though, let's choose a style in a completely different genre. So I'll uh, reorder my um, list here by genre by clicking it up here. And let's scroll down and get out of country. How about something in jazz? Um, so uh, you can select a style here and just to see if you like it or not, you can demo it down here by clicking this play button. Yeah, so that's very different. So you can definitely hear the change once I load it in. So uh, after you select the style that you want, just click OK. And then click OK again in the bar settings window. And now you'll see a red line in that bar, and that indicates that there is some sort of change uh, happening for that particular bar uh, in the bar settings. So that way, if you need to go back to it, you can uh, locate where the change is again. And now uh, let's say you want to then later go back to the same style that you started with. So it's similar steps. Um, you first select the bar that you want to change the style again, right click, go to bar settings, and then click the dot STY button. And I could keep filtering uh, using the filters here to find the style that I want, but I remember uh, the style that I began with was underscore C W A L Z P S. So there it is, nice and fast to search for it. So I select it and click OK. And click OK again. So now my song will start in the original style for four bars, play the new style for four bars, then go back to the original style for uh, the rest of the song. And now that I have uh, done a bunch of changes in the settings, I need to then click the Generate and Play button so that way the tracks follow those settings. So that's this button right here. Okay, so 
Uh, that was a bit of a drastic style change with different genres. You might want to choose something different or something more similar between styles to make a smooth transition for your song, but uh, that's how you do it for changing your style in the middle of your song and then changing it back. 